Raise your hands if you're excited for Bridgerton season three. I know I am. And also raise your hands if you're excited about the new Bridgerton Kikomanagle because that is what we're here for today. I got my hands on a lot of the things. Let's get into it. I am a huge fan of Bridgerton. I have been re-watching to get in the mood. Of course, I knew this collection was coming and we're just gonna dive right into these products and probably do a look that the ladies in the Regency era would have found scandalous. The whole vibe of this collection is very regal, kind of like this dark muted bluish green is all over the packaging. And then we have a lot of things that make us think of Bridgerton. I do have to say they went for the butterfly theme, which I find interesting because usually Bridgerton is all about the bees. Is this a like nod to what's gonna happen in the new season probably but i think this looks really cute i really like what they've done with the packaging for this collection let's start out with some swatches first up i got one of the quads this is the one in 02 ballroom bliss and uh, we have three quads and i decided to get the one that has a purple shimmer in it and also kind of like these antique gold and then the brown in the swatch look, looks really nice kind of like this rosy brown i thought that this looked really nice I still have to try it on the eyes, of course, but the shimmers look really sparkly, very pigmented. The mattes look nice and pigmented. I really like the magnetic closure that this has. I really like the feel of this cardboard. I think they did a great job so far. Like the look and the feel, it is a bit more expensive than Kika Milano usually is. Like you're paying for the Bridgerton experience, but this is looking really good. But we're gonna see if it's gonna be worth it. Like if I think you should pick this up or just wait for regular collection where it's gonna be much cheaper. And then we have the blush and highlight duo. We have two colorways. I got the lightest one. I got 01 Rose Ecstasy and this looks very, very beautiful. It's very compact, kind of on the smaller size, but it's gonna be really easy to store, really easy to take with you. This one has kind of like a rosy reddish pink matte blush, and then a super creamy, very like shiny looking champagne highlighter. This looks so nice in the swatch. I cannot wait to put that on my face. It looks really, really promising. Then they didn't have the shimmery lip balms yet at the store where I went. So I did actually order those online. Probably will do a separate video on that. And they also didn't have the satin lipstick, which I've seen kind of like floating around the internet, like the existence of that, but I haven't seen it online or in store. So we're gonna see if I will still see it anywhere. If you've seen it anywhere, let me know. But after this video, I got the Brilliant Bliss lip gloss. We have four shades. I got one of the shades. This is 02 Blushing Nectarine. The packaging has a really nice kind of like soft matte light baby blue cap with the B of Bridgerton. I decided to get this kind of like pinky, like peachy pinky cream gloss. So this, it kind of has a jelly look to it actually. It's not a shimmery gloss. The other ones, at least two of the other ones had shimmer, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna try one of the non shimmery ones because I usually always try the shimmery ones from Kika Milano. Then I was also very intrigued by the Gilded Glaze Shimmering Cream Eyeshadow. This swatched very beautiful in store. It looked magical, it looked beautiful. There were three beautiful shades. I decided to get the shade 01 Lady Whistledown's Whisper. And this is kind of like this rosy, nude, metallic, shimmery, shiny liquid eyeshadow. The question is, is this gonna last on my lids? Because I have very oily lids. Usually cream eyeshadows don't really last on me, so we're gonna try it out. I did apply a eyeshadow primer. I'm not gonna use this on its own to see if that might help. Um, that looks really, really promising. The packaging of this I also like, but once again, very expensive. And then the last thing that I got for this video is the Ballroom Bling Liquid Eyeliner. This looked so good in the swatch in the store. I cannot believe it. It is so sparkly, so duochrome to a, it goes from kind of like a purple to a blue, but there's also some, some champagne in there. 
It is very shimmery. I think it's gonna work as an eyeshadow topper as well. One of the employees in the store was wearing this. It looked really nice. I was not planning to pick this up, but I swatched it and I was sold because it looks so, so cute. Okay, we're gonna get into the look. I'm gonna be applying everything. Let's zoom in. Okay, I wanna start out with the Gilded Glaze Shimmering Cream Eyeshadow. I wanna use it kind of like as a base for the look and then see kind of like what will build around it with the other products. I am not sure. I think I'm just gonna apply this with my finger, see how that works. Usually I don't really enjoy applying cream products like this with my finger, but who knows? Maybe I will enjoy it like that. I mean, usually powder shimmers I apply with my finger. Okay, are we seeing how gorgeous this looks? Is this coming across on camera? Because that is such a cute one and done, shimmery, shiny, truly pretty liquid eyeshadow. Okay, we're gonna see how this dries down. That was really easy to do, by the way. Gonna take a little bit over here as well. Do the same thing. I think this is shiny enough to also be used as kind of like an inner corner highlight if I would feel like it. Okay, I really hope this is gonna last on me because that is so cute and I can see myself wearing this a lot because it's so easy to apply. It's just quick and pretty. Also for kind of like a summery eye, could be nice. Okay, letting it dry. Dries pretty quickly. It feels really dry. It doesn't feel creamy anymore. It really dries down. Now we're gonna dip into, I think into the palette first. I think I wanna add a little bit of the purple on the lid and then a little bit of the brown in the crease. I don't wanna try and use all the shades because sometimes things get a little messy if I do that. So I'm gonna take a Cinch E02 and I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown first. Let's see how that blends over top. That is pigmented, but this I think is a really good base for matte shadows to stick on to. So I don't know if this would work exactly the same if I would use it on top of my regular base, but that is looking really nice. I would almost just leave it at this, just a little bit of definition in the outer corner and just be done with it and it's a really cute look. I really like the shade of this brown. I feel like it's not too warm where it kind of clashes with the rest of the palette. I feel like it's a really nice kind of rosy neutral. Just gonna do a little bit of blending. I feel like that's looking really cute. I'm almost kind of like should I apply a little shimmer but we're gonna try it because I really want to see how this looks on the lid so we're gonna take the purple and kind of like apply in between wow that is pigmented that is a pigmented shade if you know me then you know that i'm not always the biggest fan of kiki milano eyeshadow but i feel like we're on to something here i think that's looking really nice that was effortless i'm gonna blend a little with a clean finger Gonna take the brush with the brown and kind of blend it all together in the outer corner. I feel like that base makes everything look so good. So I'm really hoping, I'm hoping it's not gonna crease on me and that this is gonna be a winner. All right, we also have, we have another eye product to try. I don't know who I am, I don't know what's going on. So the liner, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna use it as a liner? Maybe, maybe that's what we're gonna do. Because we have a lot going on. Ooh, that's really nice. Super easy to use. Ooh, are you seeing that? Okay, the other side. All right, I have to let it dry a little bit. I went a little bit overboard on this side, but I'm just gonna accept that I am not the best at applying eyeliner, I guess, because I'm not. I think that looks really cool. You can really see it from afar, I think. It really makes an impact. 
That is so cool. I am gonna take the highlighter from the duo and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Okay, that's cute. Not super blinding, but it's also not a super light highlighter in color. I think if you're really pale, this collection doesn't have a highlighter for you. But the deeper duo did look really nice. Like it would go across quite like deep, medium to deep skin tones. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of shadow on the lower lash line. I really like this brown, it's really nice. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna try the other shimmer as well. We're gonna try the antique gold with a pencil brush and I'm gonna take a little over here. That's really nice. Blending one last time. I am absolutely loving all of the eye products. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am. I feel like this is looking very cute and the liner is so chromey and shiny. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna move on to the blush and the highlighter. I'm gonna grab the blush first and I'm just gonna grab a little because I feel like this is gonna be pretty pigmented. I'm already wearing a tiny bit of bronzer and let's apply the blush. Blending nicely. It's pigmented, but not too pigmented. I like that. It's a nice shade I feel like it's gonna be pretty universally flattering like for Light to medium skin tones because it's not like the coolest of pinks It's a little in between it has a really nice finish Just very skin like it has kind of a bit of a glow to it, but no shimmer yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of glow, but in a nice way. I feel like that's looking really nice. Why is my brush feeling a little damp? I am spreading a little bit of shimmer over my face with my brush from my eyeshadow. <laughs> but it's not too bad. Okay, we're gonna go into the highlighter once again. I'm gonna pick up a little bit because I feel like it's gonna be pretty pigmented. So we're gonna start slowly. Let's see. Ooh, that is looking really nice. It's pigmented, yes, and glowy, but I feel like it's still see-through enough to where it's gonna still look natural. I'm just taking a little bit now. We're gonna try and build it up and see how that looks. But that together is just absolutely stunning. Just building it up a little and that is still looking really nice. Still not looking weird or metallic -y or like too powdery or anything. That is a gorgeous highlighter formula. A little on the forehead. Yeah, I feel like it has a nice kind of see-through quality to it. It's not shimmery at all. It's just really nice. I'm gonna go over with the blush brush a little. Blend it all together. I really love my cheeks. It's an expensive blush and highlighter palette. I do think it's a very, very spancy for Kika Milano, but it is good. I'm not regretting my decisions and I'm very happy about that. We have one more thing to try and that is, the, and that is gonna be the gloss, the Brilliant Belize Lip Gloss in the pinky shade, which was called 02 Blushing Nectarine. So let's apply. By the way, this smells very sweet, kind of like sugar cake, but very nice. Like in a way that is very edible and delicious. Smells kind of like the Nimia ones. Ooh, I taste it a little bit and it's very sweet. That looks like a really nice gloss. I really like the shine of this. I really like the color doesn't sit in the lip lines weird i don't feel no i don't feel like it emphasizes any texture i feel like this is a very flattering gloss it looks really cute the taste though it's like you're eating a lollipop so what do we say am i the diamond of the season am i allowed to make my debut or is this makeup too scandalous i have to be honest i have never i think done a video on a Kiko Milano collection where I have loved everything this much. 
I cannot believe how happy I am with all the makeup and just how good the quality is. I mean, I was a little unsure about this collection. Going to the Kiko, like going to the store, I was like, how many things am I really gonna pick up? I mean, it is very expensive, but now we're here and I love everything. So I do feel like something like the gloss is not something you cannot find anywhere else with Kiko Milano. This you can find in their 3D Hydra glosses. So I don't know if I would say you have to run out and get it, but if you just want something from the Bridgerton collection, I think this looks really cute. The eyeliner is absolutely gorgeous. I love the shift and the pigments, and I think it's also gonna be a really nice liquid eyeshadow. Then the actual liquid eyeshadow was a really nice base. I don't see any creasing yet. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, see how it wears. It is just very sheer and sparkly, kind of like this wet look on the eye. And I don't know, I'm very impressed so far. If this is not gonna crease, which this feels completely dry, if it's not gonna crease, I'm gonna be a big fan. I love the cheeks as well. This looks amazing. Love the colors, love the glow. I feel like my cheeks are looking very nice and plump and healthy and I just love it. And it's emphasizing no weirdness or texture. It just looks super smooth and I love it. And then we have the quad. I usually am not the biggest fan of Kiko Milana eyeshadow, but so far I am impressed. I like the look that I could do with this, love the pigment, love the blendability. I think this is a great option so far. And that's gonna be it for today. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.